42 degrees. Good day viewers, Walter here, and you're out in the cold with Walter today. I see something I never did this year that I need to attend to, but we're going to take around with my bench project a little bit today. But first I need to take care of something out here. Let me just leave my camera right there. Nobody's likely to come along and step on it. Like any, I never did bring in these hummingbird feeders this year. They got to be cleaned and brought in. Get another year's use out of them. These things aren't exactly cheap. This one blew out of the tree last night. It's what drew my attention to it. Put them up here on the porch and then I'll remember to clean them. I'm never gonna remember with them out here in the tree. Set them up here on this table. I spent 34 years of working outdoors in the winter for the railroad. And four years before that in the Navy, we had some pretty cold weather up in the North Atlantic. But I never have been a cold weather person. So since I'm retired, I kind of got sissified. And I just panic when it gets a little chilly. We're out here today and it is awful windy. It might be affecting my video quality considerably. But I'm gonna tinker around out here a little bit. See, just I got a little bit of toughness left in me. Let's see what we can come up with on this bench today. Need to do a little board measuring, and I can't do that with them all covered up. Okay, the wind ain't exactly cooperating with me. Get over there and stay over there. Let's see. I thought I had a long two by four. Where'd I throw that? I think I reached his shoulders first. That might determine the length of my bench. One thing I've done here is to make a larger seating area, I moved this back support back. Oh, a good inch and a half farther back. Still plenty of room to attach it. Gives you more seating room here. And the legs are too short. If I had it to do over, I would make this top piece 90 degree cut on the end instead of 15 degrees and have that front leg straight up and down but that's not a big deal that'll still work just fine and i'll explain when i get into doing the top piece on 90 degrees how it make it easier to do an armrest on this bench all right these one by sixes 10 foot boards i believe All right, get on there, tape measure. 10 foot, almost 10 foot, one inch. 
so I can get two five foot boards out of there from a bench. So the bench is going to be five feet in the seating area. Got a lot of short pieces that I could use on the second bench. That would be a total different design. Yeah, it's windy out here. Almost got all my stuff before I can clean up this mess and put the rest of the boards in the garage. That might be what's be a good thing to do this afternoon. Let's drag out the saw and do a little cut. I got my GoPro stuck down over my hoodie because I got my hoodie tied around my ears. Let's see about how many Here's a scrap piece. How many pieces at two by uh, one by six? Five quarter board, whatever you want to call it, I need. Let's see, we're gonna let that front one overhang about an inch or two. So there's one board. See, it looked like probably a quarter inch gap between them, two boards. Three boards for sitting on. One, two, three boards for leaning back on. All right, the end will be standing like that. We know that fairly well, 90 degrees. We got three inches right there. Might be a little over three. We're gonna call it three. So my cross piece two by four that goes across the middle needs to be four foot six, which equates to 54 inches. That way when I put a five foot piece on top, it'll come out even with right there. And then if I decide to add some arm rest on the end of my bench, I still have room to do it. So we need to cut make our first board. That's a fairly well straight one too. Good thing I saved one good two by four. I think before I do a second bit, I'm gonna have to go buy some more lumber. Let's cut this 54 inches. All right, I've drawn the middle of the bottom board where I want to attach the two by four, basically like that. And we'll put it in there as square as we can get it. And attach it on the other end. We'll be that far, much farther along. I'm trying to figure out the best way to lay it out. It's kind of square. And those two sawhorses are certainly not even, but they're pretty well in line with each other. So I'm just going to lay these bench ends. What did I do with the other one? Oh, that's right. It fell over a while ago. Trying to get it close to the right place and make it easier to line up. Let's just slide that right up on there. And it pretty well is going to match that side over there. I can square it up better once I set it on the ground. This is going to be 54 inches apart. Just gotta take my time and get it square, that's all. Okay friends, sometimes when you're working by yourself and you've only got two hands and you need to say hold that right there to get it lined up straight, sometimes you have to use your head for something besides a hat rack. So let's take any old scrap piece of wood 
and clamp it to the bottom of where I want that board to be. Okay, how about them apples? That's pretty well clamped on there where it'll hold up my 2x4. That'll work. Do the same thing over here. Okay, let's take our 54 inch piece and lay it about where we want it. The center I need to measure over here. But that's pretty close. We've already got this one marked. So let's square it and drill it. Put a little glue on that end. Well, I got that one marked close to what I think is the center. And the more I think about it, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it and hope like hell it comes out square enough that it ain't wompy jawed. Let's go ahead and put a little glue. Screw that booger bear together. Oh, I better make some holes first. Where's my drill bit? For better or worse, let's stand up our bench and see how it looks. Where are we going to put it? Right here is a good place. Well, we're getting there, friends. Let's cut some five-foot boards. Come on, let's get the wife to get me to tote this thing up on the benches. Deck after a while. Sitting flat on the ground, I can tell you that. 
All right, we need six boards. All right, we brought my frame, bench frame, up on the deck in pieces to assemble it up here because, frank, quite frankly, it'd be too heavy for the wife to help me tote up them steps. So I'll assemble it up here. Looks pretty square down there, but I got a little bit different measurement on where that goes. Let's see, it's 15 and 3 quarters. But I scooted it back just a little bit over here to get 15 and 3 quarters. Doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and assemble it. Now you can see it's going to sag in the middle with them thin one bys. So we're going to put a 2 by 6 underneath it coming straight up with two angle pieces like this attached to it in this area here so all the weight would be transferred to that center beam. So when you set your hind end on there, it'll be pretty steady. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, try to get these boards attached before the day runs out. I brought my center punch up here because I'm gonna countersink, I mean. I'm gonna countersink these screws I put in here. It's not a very sharp counter sink. Yeah, that's better.
we get in there, makes a nice seat. Like I say, I still have to brace underneath this bench. It does sag a little bit when I put my heavy hind in on it. Put a little brace under there to take care of that. We're going to conclude this part of the video. We're going to work on an armrest for both sides and braces underneath it. A little bit of sanding, but we're getting there. What do you think of it? Take a good look. Looks pretty doggone good to me. And it sits really nice. I was wrong. 17 inches is just the right height for that bench. That's going to conclude my video today. I appreciate you tuning in, my friends. P. Walpar saying y'all have a good day.